Anyone who drove a Volkswagen Beetle back in the 60s or 70s remembers a noisy little underpowered car with almost no heat or defrosting and precious few creature comforts. 30 years earlier, when Ferdinand Porsche set out to build his people's car, he never dreamed that, in spite of its very spartan approach to function, the Beetle's ladybug form would ultimately endear it to countless millions around the world. When technology passed the Beetle by in the 70s and tighter emission standards pulled it from America's roads, those who loved the bug reluctantly moved on to other less inspiring basic transportation. Over a decade passed before Volkswagen of America, in desperate need of something to catch the public's eye, came up with the Concept One. Introduced in 1994 as a show car, the Concept One was billed as a green machine that might someday run on alternative fuels or batteries. The public and press loved the design, but could not care less about its power plant. The folks back at Volkswagen's headquarters in Wolfsburg, Germany, insisted that this was not a new Beetle. Too much history, too many bad memories. Hey folks, it's just a show car. But the public was falling in love all over again. Grudgingly, Volkswagen AG set to work on a worthy successor to the most popular car in history. And so, exactly four years after the Concept One was unveiled, the new Beetle rolled forward to meet the public at the 1998 North American International Auto Show in Detroit. Now, I have the pleasure to present to you one of the highlights of this year's auto show, the new Beetle. Let the new Beetle world inspire and impress you. The response to the new Beetle has been very positive. The new Beetle is definitely an image builder for, for Volkswagen. There has not been a more classic uh, silhouette ever created in all of automobiles. You could put a, a, a shadow photo of the side of a Beetle up and everybody uh, pretty much around the world would know that's a Volkswagen. The, the executives at Volkswagen want to re recapture that. That is a, a very important icon for them. And the new Beetle, it's styled that way. It's called the new Beetle. That's exactly the reason to draw on that heritage. Sharing a platform with the very successful but oh so practical Golf, the new Beetle revives a certain soulful whimsy at VW, long missing in the Teutonic halls of Wolfsburg. Its joyful mix of nostalgia, forward thinking, classic lines, and future tech give the new Beetle an inviting presence, right down to its friendly grin, both front and rear. The new Beetle may look like the old Beetle, but it's nothing like it. The old Beetle, of course, was rear engine, air-cooled, and gutless. It got decent mileage, but it was something that you had to go pretty slow up anything steeper than a driveway. The new Beetle is front engine, it's front wheel drive, water-cooled. It's decent power, zero to 60 in about 10 seconds. No, it's not a sports car, but it's designed to be a $15,000, very well-built economy car. On the inside, if people who know the old Beetle will find the new one is larger. It's more comfortable. It's got amenities like air conditioning and power door locks available. There's even a little flower vase on the dashboard to uh, let you put your, uh, better put your daisy in if you're, a, you're an ex-hippie. It's a Beetle for the 21st century. The new Beetle did retain one of Porsche's primary concepts, putting the engine over the drive wheels for better traction. Volkswagen just moved the whole setup to the front axle, where back in 1975, the Volkswagen Golf, known as the Rabbit in the United States, set off an industry trend. So who wants a new Beetle? While the original Beetle was to be a car for the working class, the new Beetle seems to be striking a chord with people from all walks of life. Whenever and wherever we showed the new Beetle design concepts, we noticed an amazing reaction. People of all nationalities, all ages, divergent life experiences, different incomes, and different religions, all behaved the same way when they first saw the car. They smiled. It's cute, it's fun. It has heat and air conditioning. But will the new Beetle outrun the original? Time will tell if, if it has legs long enough to to run as long as the old Beetle did, which was uh, nearly 30 years. So, as the smiling new Beetle begins to take its predecessor's place on the world's roadways and in drivers' hearts, 
we can't help but wonder if somewhere along that great highway in the sky, air Dr. Portia is smiling back. Thank you.